Welcome to this month's Costex Coffee Break webinar. In this video, we'll be discussing constants and values. My name is Ashley Corona, and I'm a product specialist with Exactol. If you're unfamiliar with Costex, it's a digital estimating software with universal application ranging from hand-drawn sketches, PDFs, 2D and 3D CAD files, and BIM models. These all incorporate on-screen measurement, live linked workbooks, revisioning capabilities, and BIM data extraction. In the previous webinar, Andy discussed phraseologies and how they can be used within Costex. Phraseologies are a description of items in the Bill of Quantities. Phraseologies allow the maintenance of standard phrases or model descriptions in an hierarchical library. This library can be utilized to assemble predefined phases, codes, and units of measure to form Bill of Quantity descriptions. To view this webinar, go to www.exactl.com webinars. Today, we'll be learning about constants and values. We will discuss instances where constants and values can be used in a workbook and how they can be easily imported, incorporated into the estimate, and modified. We'll also learn how project values can override global values. Constants can represent any fixed numeric amount that you wish to reference in your workbook. For example, constants may represent fixed factors, such as steel or rebar weights, and roof pitch factors. They can be used as variables to calculate labor constants, production rates, and more. Constants are live linked, so they will update in the workbook when they are adjusted. Constants and values, which currently exist in the Costex database, can be found in their respective tabs in the bottom left-hand window of the costing view. To add, edit, or delete any of these constants or values, go into System Administration and click into the Costing tab. Here, I can view my entire list of imported constants, as well as insert, edit, copy, delete, import, and export these values. Constants can be entered individually using the insert button or may be imported as a list via Excel CSV file. Here I have a CSV file with rebar weights. Each constant line item is on a separate line and must include the attributes of the constant in order by name, value, unit of measure, and folder. I can save the CSV file and import it into my database by using the import constants from CSV option. Upon import, I'll be able to find my newly imported constants in my constant library. Once a comprehensive list has been created, it can easily be shared with a colleague by exporting to EXF or CSV. Constants can be incorporated into the workbook by easily dragging and dropping them into the appropriate cell in the workbook. To apply a roof pitch factor to a roofing area, I'll simply drag and drop the newly measured roof area and then do the same for the roof pitch factor to bring it into the factor column. You'll notice that they are dropped in as green text, which denotes they are live linked. Global values can be set up by going into System Administration and clicking into the Costing tab and selecting Values. Here, I can view my entire list of values as well as insert, edit, copy, delete, import, and export these values. Values can be dragged and dropped into the workbook to establish live links. A single value can be linked in various places throughout the estimate. I can change these values by going into System Administration, Values, and editing them from the Edit window. Once updated, the values will automatically update in every place that they have been linked. In this example, I changed the tile waste factor from 12% to 15%, and it has been updated where it was applied to the floor tile and to the wall tile in the estimate. I have already live linked all of my general conditions percentage costs from my global standard set of values. However, these global standard values can be overridden individually on a project-to-project -project basis. This can be done by going into Project Properties and adding a value with the same name. You'll notice that right now I have my global standard value for GC fee set at 3%. However, if I decide to adjust that fee up to 4% for this project specifically due to its complexity, I can always override the standard fee by assigning a project value with the same name. I can do so by going into Project Properties and clicking into the Values tab. From here, I can insert a GC fee that will be specific to this project and override any previously linked standard value of the same name. I'll set this fee to 4% and update. The fee for my project has been updated 
and the Values tab now is showing the superseding 4% GC fee. This fee is unique to this project and has not changed my list of global standard values. I can review my standard values and confirm that the global standard value for GC fee remains at 3% for future projects. I can use these values for waste factors, excavation allowances, and more. I can even create project-specific values in the project properties that will only exist within this project. If I have a specific value that is unique to this project, such as designer specified design contingency, I can create that value in the Project Properties Values tab. The value will now show up in my Values window and be available for me to drag and drop into the workbook. Because that value was created in the Project Properties window, it will not be added to my standard set of values. To recap this month's webinar, today we talked about the different ways that constants and values can be used within your workbook, how to add, edit, import, and export constants and values, and how to incorporate constants and values into your estimate by dragging and dropping them to establish live links. We also discussed how project values override global values. Thank you for watching our webinar on constants and values. To view this recording, go to www.exactal.com webinars.